Usually I'm talking to the parents. This one's for the kids. Uh, maybe for the parents too. How to do hard things. I got some pointers for you. A few years ago, I got to do something that was really hard for me. Have you ever heard of a fire walk? Yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. They build a big fire, it burns down into a pile of coals, they rake them out into a kind of a bed of coals, and then you take off your shoes and you walk across the fire in bare feet. And I was scared because I know about fire. You know about fire too, don't you? Yeah, what happens if you walk on fire? Well, scary things, right? You get burned, it's awful, it's terrible. Well, actually, if you're with a professional who knows how to do this, disclaimer, please don't try this at home. I was doing it with a trained professional and they know how to do it in a way that you can do it safely. Well, the reason I share this story with you is because this hard thing is something that you sometimes feel like you can't do for a lot of reasons. And in fact, my friend who was facilitating the course, somebody came up to him and said, I can't do this. And he said, why? Because I'm afraid. <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't. It probably means you won't. And sometimes our feelings have us not doing something that we can do, even though it's hard. Now, a lot of things your parents are gonna ask you to do are hard. And things that you have to do in school are hard. And things that you have to do when you get a job are hard. But here's a true thing about life. You can either do the hard thing now and create an easier life for you down the road, or you can do the easy thing now and end up with a harder life down the road. I call this hard easy or easy hard. Which one do you want? And by hard life, I mean even being incarcerated or thrown in prison. Does that sound like a hard life? Sometimes if you do the easy thing now, just steal that thing from the store, you create a harder life for you down the road. Whereas if you did the hard thing now, save up, earn some money, and then go buy the thing from the store, you create an easier life down the road with freedom instead of being locked up. That's just an example. My experience tells me that's true. You do the hard thing now, and you can create an easier life for yourself down the road. So how are you gonna do this? There's some brain hacks that are really gonna help with this because your brain gets in the way and it plays tricks on you and it tells you lies sometimes. Lies like, I can't. Sometimes your brain says that you can't when it's something that's hard, but we're gonna do hard things. So let's practice a few brain hacks, shall we? These brain hacks will help you to see that it's hard, feel the fear, Feel the resistance and do it anyway. You learn how to do this right now and my friend, your life is going to be awesome because people who are willing to do the hard things get to enjoy things in life that other people never get to have because they're not willing to do the hard thing. So here's the first one. Practice saying, I've got this. I've got this. Say it with me, ready? I've got this. How did that feel? Oh, you didn't say it. Try it. Right now. I've got this. Now you say it with some feeling and with some confidence because it changes something in your brain. And that change gives you the energy to do things differently than you've done them before. I was working with a young man who had an opportunity to get a job. He was about 16, 17, I think, when he got this job at a tire store. And he had been practicing this particular brain hack. I've got this. And he started using it on the job. So when a hard job had to be done at the tire store, he said, I've got this. And everybody else is like, what? He's got this? Well, guess who got a raise? Guess who got a promotion? Because he's willing to do hard things. You See how this could help you? But not only that, what if something difficult comes up? at school or in your family, or maybe you've got some emotional things going on or thoughts that are troubling you. Instead of letting those just overwhelm you, you say, I've got this. It changes this, your mind. It doesn't change the circumstances. It changes your mind 
and put you in a position where you can do that hard thing. Here's the next one. Quit whining. Now, what I mean by that is quit saying, why me? See, you're a whiner <laughs> if you're doing that. Maybe a why baby is another way to explain. Don't get hung up on the terms. Whining, saying, why me? Usually in a whiny voice. Why me? Why does this have to happen to me? What's the alternative? Practice saying this instead. Why not me? Honestly, why not me? It's just as legitimate a question. But people who aren't willing to do hard things don't say that. They say, why me? Why do I have to do this? Instead of, why not me? I got this. I can handle this. Ooh, that changes the energy, doesn't it? Why not me? And honestly, why not you? Aren't you just as qualified to take this on as anybody else? You've got the resources to do this. Why not you? And as you face this, you become a stronger person. All right, one more brain hack. Instead of saying, I can't, ask this question. How can I? Ooh. What if there's something that you really want to buy and you say, I can't afford it. What's the next step? <laughs> Nothing. You might as well just fold up in the corner somewhere. It's like a big power switch on the side of your brain. You know, on, off, on, off. When you say, I can't, which position are you putting that switch into? It's off. Might as well just shut her down. What if you say, how can I? The thing you want to buy. How can I afford that? Oh, see what just happened in your mind? You start getting ideas. It's like, well, I could earn some money. Yeah. Hello. That's a hard thing. Are you willing to do some hard things? Because if you'll do some hard things, you get to have the kind of life that most people never get to see because they didn't push through it. How can I? You've got this and other people will get it too. Will you share this with somebody today? Like your parents, for example, and I've got other tools for them. If you want them to be better parents, hook them into that parenting power up over there. I bet they're gonna love it and you will too.